get over it. It looks really good. And um, if you're just like blown through the story, you can have a lot of fun if you just oh, yeah. if you never get tired of that kind of like kills and shit, you know. Mm. And like like I said, I only played a chapter and a half, if even two chapters. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying, like to me, it got a little bit stale already. Mm. So if someone correct me, if it does like get hype and you do get more moves, because you can upgrade shit. Mm. I didn't see anything. I saw only like damage upgrades, uh, not actual like more moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's the only thing. Yeah, it's like, I think yeah. You got, yeah, I think you can charge your move like once. He does like a like a jumping slash down, uh, okay. but it doesn't like combo into anything. It's hmm. just a move, like a yeah. standalone move. Yeah, that's pretty lame. So, like I said, like you listen to this, you can tell me I'm full of shit. If you actually, I'm sure everybody, like a whole bunch of people, whoever has an Xbox One, has beaten this game probably. Yeah, it's like one of the few games out there right now. But um, if it does get hype and you do get more shit, then feel free to correct me. But that's just my first impressions. Mm. So. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like they just pretty much, like, it's more of a showcase for the Xbox One. Definitely. Rather than any type of in-depth game. But I can see it being fun, like, obviously not much replay value, but if you just want to, like, check it out, like, hey, this looks really awesome. Yeah. All right, I'm done. Play something more in If I get my hands on an Xbox One and we can, like, play it for a night, we'd have uh, a lot of fun. Oh, I, yeah, I guarantee yeah, you would yeah, have a lot of fun. Like it. But, yeah, just playing it by yourself or for the long run or for 60 bucks, I don't recommend it for full price or anything like that. But yeah. If you're with your friends and you're fucking not sober, yeah, go ahead. Someone was dumb enough to buy it. <laughs> well, I, I mean, think I think it came with a lot of systems, maybe. Oh, yeah, did it, did it? most I, likely. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you would look at it and be like, "Oh, well, this looks cool." So yeah, I don't uh, yeah, know. yeah. It do- it definitely does. <laughs> not even gonna spare. Like, if you know anything about Crytek, they never spare expense on their mm. graphics. Like, yeah, yeah. Make it look as good as possible, and we spared no expense. Yeah, literally the Jurassic Park guys spent no expense, <laughs> except for this unfortunate boop thing over here. But uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like you know, it's, I like think I'm sure, yeah, yeah. Like I'm sure there's controversy in, in as far as the fact that they like didn't bother to really make a combat system. Yeah. But what's getting all the headlines is uh, the physics of the boobs. <laughs> so uh, this was something that I found on Kotaku, and it's also on Game and Guide. Which I had never which heard we'll of. Never go to again. So basically, it's just real. It, it just it's just ridiculous. Never. There's, there's a cut scene never. with one of the the chick characters, and she's scantily clad. And uh, supposedly, in the context of this, it's actually supposed to be like a really like emotional scene. And she every as she walks, like literally, her breasts are like a wave pool, just like bouncing up and down, like like. Absurd. We're just like, this is so unnecessary. It's so unrealistic. Yeah. So they're kind of like taking jabs. It's like, well, at least we can know what to expect for the next gen consoles. You know, at least at least I got boobs. Wavy right. boobs. <laughs> yeah, wavy yeah. boobs. <laughs> it looks more like mesmerizing and bizarre than it does. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's hot. It's more like, are, are they supposed to do that? <laughs> is, is, can we? Do they have water in them? <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, they're like water. The water bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just jiggling, just. Bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know. I think she needs to seek a healthcare professional. Nice. So so that's Rise in a nutshell. It might make you rise. In my first impressions. Like I said, again, feel free to correct me. <coughs> if you've actually beaten the game and there's more to expect for me after the second chapter. I think uh, I watched up on a shore or something when I stopped playing. Mm. And Marius was being a dick. He wouldn't do what I said. <laughs> so uh, he wouldn't kill people as awesomely as I wanted him to. Uh, that's always unfortunate. I don't. Th- it's literally like uh, I don't, I'll say one last thing about Rise. It seems like uh, it's one of those things that suffers where, um, like, what Assassin's Creed used to suffer for a little bit, mm-hmm. where they send more AI at you instead of smarter AI. Uh, so like, more isn't yeah. necessarily better. Just mm-hmm. more dumbasses. Yeah. Instead of smart, like making you think enemies. Yeah. Exactly. Saying, yeah. So that's about it, though. Yeah. It's like it, you don't have to change up your strategy. It's like with sl- the opposite of Sleeping Dogs, where it's like, okay, here's the guys you can't grab. Yeah. Here's the guys you have to melee. Yeah. You know, and you have to change it up. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this one you just have to like parry more. Uh, okay. Like, oh yeah, you have to block that guy's attack, and then you can attack him. <laughs> okay. I always think that's so disappointing because it's like they've already made strides. Like they've already made the blueprint. Yeah. It's just like it seems like certain companies just can't uh, pick that up. Yeah. But uh, I want to move on to Metal Gear Solid: The Phantom Pain. Yay. So this kind of bummed me out when I heard this. It's like um, duh. <laughs> the headlines don't expect Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain anytime soon. Um, basically, um, Kojima was talking about just how ginormous this game is going to be, and so they're they're pretty much not done with it. Um, he says that we're going to put it in Hollywood <coughs> Hollywood movie terms. The prologue that is Ground Zeroes will be similar to the first ten to fifteen minutes that are meant to captivate the audience. Um, at first, something will happen, and then the title will appear like "Blam!" The nine years later, a big event will start. Will be the start of Metal Gear Solid Five. As to the story will be connected, as far as the game itself goes, the Phantom Pain will take place in an immense open world map, while Ground Zeroes takes place in this smaller open world. Huh, I thought um, it would be the opposite. Yeah. 
Um, I would have actually, it would have actually been better to release it all at once. But uh, by the way, things are going. It appears that the Phantom Pain will be coming out around the time the PlayStation Four becomes more spread out. That means we'll have longer. Um, we would have had to make people wait a while longer. So basically, um, yeah. So that was the other like bombshells. Like, oh, they were gonna be one game. They're gonna split them up. Which is kind of good because now it's like, okay, well, however long it's gonna take them to perfect the Phantom Pain, I want them to take their time. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. You know, and it's like in the meantime, I really want to play Ground Zero, so I was like, all right, let me pray the pl- prelude. I'll be get f- just fine with that because it looks awesome. Yeah. Well, not so. only that, but if if you're strapped for cash, you don't want two games to come out at the same time mm. and then have to put down like 130 bucks. Just yeah, to get them. probably more than that. But yeah. Um, so yeah, it's probably a good thing you get. Well, you're solid now, or even, I mean, by the time Phantom Pain comes out, you know, um, <coughs> Ground Zeroes will be, you know, half price at the very least. Mm. You can get that, and maybe you can get both for like 90 bucks, and then play them continuously, so. Yeah, I mean, to me, like, the best thing is just the fact that they're not going to rush it. Um, they mentioned that the save file from Ground Zeroes is going to affect Phantom Pain, so they haven't explained in details oh, how cool, it's going to. Cool. Yeah. That's good. No, yeah. I'm happy about that. So that's I kind of cool. think of it like as a Mass Effect style. It's like, well, like, you killed this character, so he's not going to be in this Yeah, version. that's no. cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That makes I'm you sound glad like there's a... more games doing that. That yeah. makes it sound better for waiting, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, when we get this, I'm going to enjoy the shit out of Ground Zeroes for a while, mm. and then it'll... That's the decisions, and oh, well, I don't know how de- how in deep, to, how in depth they're going with it, but that's cool. Yeah, just the fact that I mean, you know, it kind of implies that there'll be <coughs> there'll be like consequences. Yeah, you know? and they, you know, because I always say where it's like you have a game where you have choices, but no matter what choice you make, it's all the same. Yeah, you know, so I always think that's really lame. So I don't know. I'm excited. I mean, because the Metal Gear Solid Five was one of the main reasons why I wanted to get a PS4. So it's just like, yeah, like almost every system I've bought or every Sony system, it's all been like, okay, when Metal Gear Solid comes out, that's when I get the system. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. So, you know, I'm perfectly happy with them splitting it up in two. To me, that just means two more games to play. Yeah. Two fucking... They're probably going to be fantastic. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're on Kojima. Um, I don't know if we addressed this on the last episode, but the one bone I have to pick with Kojima, he was talking about how he had this mind-blowing announcement... <laughs> No, about, we didn't get to that. About uh, what he was going to, like at the time it was like, oh, this Thursday he's going to blow your mind about Metal Gear Solid Five news. So I'm like, okay, it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be either one, it's going to come bundled with the PS4 um, for free, or two, you're going to get a play. It, there's going to be like David Hayter DLC or something. <laughs> that, that's what I was having in, imagining David in my mind. David Hayter DLC. <laughs> yeah, you just download them right into the game. I love it. He, re- he recorded all the all the lines already. Yeah, just, see, like, that's what I was thinking. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's just he, he, they just um, completely replaced Keith their Sutherland with like, David Hayter. David Hayter commentary. <laughs> What's Metal Gear? So uh, 24, you respect the the Kiefer the <laughs> I mean, I love Kiefer Sutherland. It's he he's a great actor, and yeah. it's just uh, I just want David yeah, Hayter. Yeah. You know? I understand, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I was thinking, okay, it's got to be something great. If it's gonna blow my mind, it has to be something like that. He said well, mind blowing, right? Yeah, he literally said mind blowing. Okay. He's like, so when I finally found out what it was, I was just like, it was more mind numbing. It's like that's it, really. So the whole yeah. thing was like, you're gonna get to play as a pixelated. Solid Snake from the first Metal Gear Solid, and still not even voiced by David like Hayter. the PS1 version. <laughs> yeah, the PS1, like pretty much um, importing the PS1 sprite into the next-gen graphics. I remember, it, yeah, go ahead. Oh, d- just to show the contrast. Like, I know what the fucking contrast yeah. is. Like, I, I don't play PS1 games because they hurt my eyes. They're so terrible looking. It's like, <laughs> I don't want to play that shit. <laughs> so you didn't blow my mind. This is because uh, of uh, uh, MGS4. Um, they had a... Uh, the the uh, Metal Gear Solid One mask, yeah, yeah, and it was just a pixelated <coughs> head mm. of you know the original graphics, mm. which I thought was dumb too. But I guess it was cool if it was just a mask that you can wear around. I was wearing a fucking business suit the whole time. <laughs> nice. the, yeah, but the but yeah, that's just that's not mind blowing. Yeah, yeah, because that's my beef with it. Like, okay, like you said with Metal Gear Solid Four, that's an unlockable, that's an Easter egg, that's cool. But don't hype it up. Like, had had I beat the game, and it's like, oh, here's an extra VR mission you can play as original Snake. I'd be like, oh, that's cool. That's so awesome. Yeah. But don't tell me it's mind blowing. Don't hype it up. Like, get my hopes super high. And David Hater like, DLC would be mind blowing. Yeah, that would be like, yo, I would never have thought that that was gonna happen. Yeah. You got fired, didn't you? Or even like, once you beat the game, you can play the game as any character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be, yeah that'd you be can sick. play it as Naked Raiden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whatever. Man, Metal Gear's never taken itself seriously. Yeah. So I don't know, like something like that would be cool. Yeah. That would be mind blowing. What yeah. he announced was absolutely not mind blowing. <laughs> like, Maybe mind- he just 
he got really baked or something. He was just like, <laughs> what if? Maybe it was actually a tough thing to do. Uh, like, Can we just make this pixelated and just put it in the game? Like, you can't do this. It'll blow people's minds. Don't tell me what I can't do. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. I think, one, I think it's one of those things where, I mean, he's obviously very brilliant. You know, he's very creative and stuff. But I think sometimes he kind of, you know, it's like sometimes you create something and you think it's great. You think you have this great idea. But it doesn't necessarily like stand like other yeah. people's t- stress tests. They're like, yeah, yeah. you lo- you like it. I appreciate that you <laughs> like it, but I think it's bullshit. Yeah. So that's just kind of how I feel towards that. <laughs> so uh, let's see here. I don't even want to read that topic. Uh, okay. Well, we'll go with uh, a game that we love, Spec Ops The Line, Dev, working on free-to-play title. So your Jaeger, your delicious Jaeger, could be free-to-play. So, uh, oh, nice. <laughs> Jaeger, the developer behind Spec Ops The Line, which, in my opinion, the sleeper hit of the year. Um, they're going to be making a free-to-play military action game. Ooh. So uh, they haven't announced the title. They said they're going to be using the real, the Unreal Engine 4, and they pretty much found it from like a job posting. They're looking for <coughs> a senior 3D artist um, in their team to be creating high-quality, hard surface models and textures such as architectures, vehicles, and weapons. <laughs> So, I, so obviously, like, not a lot is really known, but at least we know that these guys are still going to be making something, because they're... Oh, that game was so great. Like, if they can even recapture just a fraction of that, I'll be I'll be happy. You want to borrow it again? You know I do, Walker. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy, because, uh, freaking... Everyone uh, always does, the free to, the The free-to-play Command & Conquer with the Frostbite engine got scrapped. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That was terrible. That Hopefully. Sucks. I've never played Spec Ops. Are you talking about Spec Ops? Yeah, Spec Ops Line. Line. The line, yeah. Is there, you, is there another one? Another one? Um, it was from a previous series called Spec Ops, uh, and then it's not really <coughs> in canon with every with anything. I think maybe did the line just come out? Um, it came out two years ago. I think was it two years or one year. Yeah, it came out in twenty twelve. Yeah. Did y'all guys just recently play it? We played yeah. it earlier this year. Yeah. That was pretty. But yeah, yeah. It was last year it came out because it was like it was this. It was kind of an underground hit, you could yeah. say. I think I remember seeing. I think I, I remember vaguely like seeing it at a store. I've never. If you want to borrow it, more than welcome. Yeah, to I would. It. I would highly recommend it. Just the it's story good? alone. Wow. Like, the gameplay mechanics are a little broken, but overall, <laughs> like the story is what makes it. Yeah. It's like okay, the whole You're thing not is broken enough to keep you from enjoying yeah. the game. Yeah. It's really like you don't notice the mechanics are broken until like the last three levels, and then yeah. you just want to throw the fucking controller out the window. Yeah. Because it's like like pretty much like it's one of those like cover systems. And the thing is, like, yeah. it's it's, it's kind of difficult to detach from the cover. Uh-huh. And when you get towards the end, they're just lobbing grenades at you, and they have all these weapons. So you got to move. Uh-huh. Well, you can't because you're stuck to the fucking wall. Uh-huh. So. But I mean, that does. I wouldn't even have that as a turn. I almost think like some people speculate they did that on purpose uh-huh. because of the way the game fucks with you afterwards. Because uh-huh. you're so dejected and you're so angry, and then they just kick you right in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to know anymore. Yeah, that's all I'll say. But it's it's really uh-huh. great. It's. Uh-huh. It's uh, it's like to me like the best story games probably are Last of Us and Spec Ops the Line. Oh wow! Yeah, that's how high I rank it up there. Like, that's a good story, man. I'm always for a good video game story, man. That's why I went back to Mass Effect too. Yeah, I've been playing GTA Five, which I, I need. Saw you playing that. I saw you playing that last night. Yeah, yeah, which I need to. I need to get GTA Five back to you. GTA Five, not taking anything away from that at all. Uh, you guys know personally that I'm just not a big fan of like, I guess like current like modern time sandbox yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was it was really freaking uh, it was really fun. I even uh, fucked around with the uh, online stuff, uh-huh. and uh, I made my own online guy. It's kind of I don't know if it was weird. I've heard a lot of gripes. <laughs> Obviously, I've heard all the goods and all the bads about the game before I started playing it. Yeah. Um, but it was all online. Everybody just like had a bunch of gripes about the uh, the family tree thing. Yeah. It was a little bit weird. It was like, pretty kind of lame. Yeah, because I couldn't customize them like exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's it's. I mean, it's it's unique. I give them props for creativity, but it's fucking lame. Where's the cur- where's the where's the accurate curly hair option? <laughs> I always go over this for every game. There's no a- the curly hair option with this was a fro or just like you want straight messy? Oh yeah. Anyways, that was, that was it. Anyway, they had a lot of fun. There's like the uh, when I went online, you do like the opening mm. thing where you were like with the uh, when, oh, when with you're with Lamar. Lamar. Yeah. And uh, that was really cool. Uh-huh. But then at least you see on the world, I was like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> I thought it was going to be like Red Dead where you just go around and just like start stuff with people. So mm-hmm. I like, held, up a, uh, held up some convenience stores. Oh, yeah. That's had a lot of fun. fun. And then um, I went to the story. I played through the whole story and stuff like that. And uh, it was really fun. Uh-huh. Like Trevor and Michael are definitely my favorites. Franklin actually grew on me yeah. after a while like, towards the end. But uh, I really enjoyed Anyways, 
It was a good story and everything. It wasn't like mind boggling or anything like yeah, that. Oh, it yeah, yeah, it's it was, not it was just, yeah, it was just really. It's entertaining. entertaining. It's like yeah. watching like an entertaining like popcorn movie. Very